Hello and welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten VHS Tales. And we are going to bring to you uh, something that's very near and dear to our hearts and something that sadly we have to address ad address yeah. because poor Diana Rigg has passed away. Like, you know, I don't think there is a, um, a female character like her on TV at that time at all. Like, she was probably the only character who was, like, independent woman. Yep. She didn't have a man in her life. She could kick ass and take names. Kick know? ass. And she looked amazing. Like, she was, like, the epitome of 60s yep. style. Right? Yeah, oh, yeah, fuck. Yeah. And she drove the car, yeah. too, and everything, right? Yeah. She drank uh, yeah. hard liquor <laughs> and everything. And she would come to Steve, Steve's rescue more than once. We just love the Avengers so much. And it's like, it inspired... The intro, or the intro <laughs> to the show, uh, is basically a, a, a exactly. homage to the uh, intro of the Emma Peel era of the Avengers. Mm -hmm. Which, of course, was Diana Riggs' character in that show. And the Avengers is a show that we um, mention often in, in our show. I don't want people to think we're talking about the Marvel Avengers, right? No, we're not talking about the Marvel Avengers. We're talking about the classic British 60s James Bond-ish spy yeah. Avengers, which is, for a lot of North American audiences, maybe underrated. A lot of, I guess yeah. a lot of people haven't seen the Avengers unless you grew up with your parents watching it because they watched it as kids. I got into the Avengers from my mom, right? So yeah. she loved the Avengers. I wake up in the mornings, it was always playing on Bravo, Channel 27. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wake up in the mornings, it was on. So I sat down and watched it. We never ever used to watch really like any of the ones with Honor Blackman. Or the other ones, the new Avengers. Yeah, the sick and, new yeah. Avengers in the 70s. <laughs> yeah. It was my dad who loved the Avengers. Whenever it was on TV, we right. had to have it on and then when it started coming out uh, on VHS finally uh, I remember him super collecting the VHS like he got them on DVD since but he's then got given me like all these three-pack right. VHS and each one has like, like two or three episodes so I got a stack of these now yeah and it's funny because I had to rip one for you <laughs> well the way my mom always used to take the fucking DVDs out of the of the tray, oh, she just and... rip them right out and broke the fucking disc. Yeah, and those are that was her favorite one. Put my VHS in <laughs> it and rip them to digital for you to replace <laughs> that one little disc that your mom broke. Yeah, <laughs> uh. burned in my brain is this time where me and my dad were driving downtown as we did every Saturday. It was like routine, <laughs> you know, get in the van and he was humming the Avengers theme song. The whole way downtown, like over and over, it didn't stop. Like I remember, we turned on the van, back out. And like he finished one rotation, like okay, that's it. It starts again, like the whole way, whole way downtown. Drive you nuts. There's so many good episodes. Like, they're all good. Yeah, and if you're a fan of horror, um, there's definitely a lot of horror-related episodes or horror-like themed episodes which are actually very creepy. Mm -hmm. The Joker being, for one. Yeah. Right? Uh, where she goes to that old mansion, the record player that's playing. It seems yeah. like the mansion's sort of haunted. The atmosphere Yeah. for these, not just that, for damn near every single episode yeah and there's like uh another really good horror type episode called castle dieth uh, steed who's the, the the male lead in the show goes to this old scottish castle to investigate and there's a ghost that's mm -hmm. supposed to be in the castle espionage that's really happening yeah, underneath but from the moat and everything but and just the atmosphere of this castle is great you know even the beginning of that episode where the guy's playing the bagpipes yeah. and then they show into the uh, the torture chamber yeah and that guy gets killed in that, that iron, iron maiden, maiden. <laughs> yeah oh it's great you know the winged avenger is another kind of uh, yeah. horror-ish yeah yeah with the claws if you're a fan of 
James Bond, British spy, espionage, espionage type things, and you, and you and you want you know they're really good stories. There's a lot of good sci-fi based stories like the Cybernauts. Yeah, yeah, a uh, surfeit of H two O. Yeah, with those weeds yeah, and yeah. the plants killing people. The positive negative <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and there's good horror themed episodes like we mentioned. If you haven't seen the Avengers, at least check out one episode, and you're you're missing out on like a TV history. Yep. Yeah. So, until next time, when you break into someone's house and do some <laughs> investigating, sample some of their exquisite brandy. <laughs>